Uh, Mr. Diom, we watched that video. Those two people were accused of uh, being spies to the military. And this is the situation where we've arrived at today. Uh, the uh, military will definitely uh, arrest anyone who is suspected to be a spy uh, on the side of the separatists, just like the uh, separatists as well, will extra or kill those they believe to be spies on the side of the military. The population are caught up in the middle. Who do we blame at this point? This is a crisis as uh, the outcome uh, of a crisis that has not been resolved completely for the past seven years, although uh, solutions have been put in place, but then we still have this ongoing. Okay, um, Luis, you know, before I start, I want to ask, uh, when I saw this video, I asked myself a question. I took our time to listen and watch the video. In listening and watching the video, it took me lots of minutes. My first question that came to my mind was, they came, it was a market day. They announced that the market be shut down and that everybody should follow them to the square. They went to the square. They called for what? Quotes and in quotes. The corporates, as they put it, the informers, mm -hmm. the black legs. Mm -hmm. I heard there's a black leg community I never knew existed in Cameroon. Uh, they came out. They passed judgment on them by declaring what their crime was. And I was asking myself, the time that it took with the kind of security and the military presence in Northwest and Southwest, as I know, was there nobody to call or to alert the military? Or is it not a kind of a situation now, uh, where you talked about alerting the military, this goes back to be uh, the same reason why they are being killed because they are accused of being spies or informants. Since they started the killing spies, spies have not finished. Since they started killing Amber, Amber has not finished. In either side, mm. they are increasing or they are redoubling the effort. So, my question that I was about to land is with all the military artillery that we have in Norway and Southwest, all this happened right to the execution form without the intervention of the military. A military that is being deployed for such a task and that paid for that points to one thing. The role of the gun has failed. The gun will not solve the war. And to think that it all happened in front of everybody, people had phones, does it mean that nobody had the courage even to secure the right to the uniform men in that subdivision. It happened, and the military did not even intervene after three hours. And we just got the phone writing from his hideout in Yaoundé, denouncing. It equally points to the fact that the role of the government has failed. Like Madame Ayafo said a while ago, Luis, we need to talk. Mm. We must talk. If we have failed to listen to each other for seven years, I think it is time that we must talk. To now answer your question squarely, you are asking if you are asking who should be blamed. Okay. Well, uh, there is no reason I first of all condemn the act of taking away anyone's life, be it by the government forces or be it by the Amazonian forces. I have said for four years running that guns can kill terrorists, but no gun has ever killed terrorism. Mm. What we need to do, Turkey has killed terrorism in most parts of the world. And the sad thing is that wars always end where they ought to have started, mm. which is the round table. Round tables give solutions, but round bullets comes out to kill. There is no peaceful bullet. If the president of the republic, whom I don't know where he has been hiding for so long, cannot come out to put a stop to this thing that he started, I want to think that he does not care the legacy he wants to leave in Cameroon, in the annals of Cameroon history before leaving. So okay. the institutions, 
It also equally means that for seven years, we have parliamentarians and senators from Northwest and Southwest. They have been to the Senate to and from. They have never rest or walked out of the Senate or the National Assembly because the Senate President or the National Assembly President has refused to table this thing for discussion in the Parliament or at the Senate. It equally means that they are accomplices. Mm -hmm. The elites of Northwest and Southwest, they are accomplices. Those people who hide in Yaoundé writing condolence messages in the name of elites, they are accomplices. Some of us who talk here, we still bear the risk to go back to Norway and Southwest to even fight. I am sure you heard, the, you saw the message that circulated and you were shot in Boyo because he went to campaign for school boycott, for, for, I mean for, for school resumption. And the Amba people thought that I had become a black leg, but I've always assumed that position from the one that no child should stay out of school. When they saw me walking free without a bullet on me, their propaganda died down naturally because I took the courage to go back, tell the people of my community, children must go to school, mm -hmm. and I keep repeating it. Okay. While you people are fighting, we have seen in Yemen, we have seen everywhere in the world, children were going to school. Mm -hmm. But to think that you hold our children hostage because of something that the children did not bargain for is barbaric. And to also believe that we can say that Amber is operating as it wants, points a finger to the barrenness of Cameroonian institutions. If the institutions were not barren, if they were working, all these things would not have been operating. Instead of sending people every day on failed missions, let me tell you, construct the routes, give them the lights, give them water, give them those social amenities that they wanted, automatically the government will win over the hearts of the people of Norway and Southwest. As I talk to you now, before you take the microphone, the marginalization spree continues. You recently saw the release of the 400,000 police with two anglophone names. That's the marginalization. You recently saw how Mbaragangele was in Douala to install the second production center for ID cards, which means those people west of the Mungu must travel across to east of the Mungu, that remains the marginalization. So the government needs to look for strategies to equalize, to balance the equation of the two people who came together on a, an equal pedestal. Otherwise, the frustration continues. But we are not backing the barbaric acts of those who call themselves Ambazonia. Because if you came to protect the people and you are killing them, then there is no other name that can be given to you mm. than the name that people have been calling. Okay. Uh, thank you very much.